of the projects watch this is her view now here is some trivia if you see how much the average jamaican understand about how the country is governed if i ask you the question who is the minister of defense what would you tell me write the answer first don't cheat just write the answer first at the comment section who is the minister of defense in jamaica i'll give you two seconds if you wrote dr horace chang you are incorrect the minister of defense in jamaica is prime minister andrew holness that is literally one of his titles minister of defense dr horace chang is the minister of national security that's actually two different things in a jamaica Recently, the leader of the opposition, Mark Golding, come out and give the police commissioner 60 days. 60 days for sort it out or for cut and go about in business. Now, many Jamaicans were like, yeah man, a true man, a true man, a true man, a true man. 60 days in for one man, in for one man, in for one man. I'm going to show you why this channel is called Politrix. Watch. That right there is one of the most disingenuous things I've seen Mark Golding pull off. Now, I understand say, when you're a leader of opposition, you want to get in a power by any means. Politics is a rough game. I get it. But that right there, sir, was a low blow. I want to understand, say, the role of commissioner, police commissioner in Jamaica, is one of the most overrated and misunderstood in the country. The average Jamaican thinks that the police commissioner is like this person who can like make and break laws. The police commissioner is like this head honcho that is like this big boss. I can assure you, no police commissioner isn't. Most police commissioners are nothing more than lambs to the slaughter. Police commissioners can only work with the laws that are presented before them. No police commissioner can keep you in a jail a day longer than the last say. You could be the most notorious 87 in the whole wide country, not even the whole wide world, the whole wide country could have a doppy in a every parish. Police will empire, lawyer come and say, you have X amount of time for Lego my client based on this and that. If the police commissioner himself turn up at the station and say, don't let him go. The man let it go. Gonna overrate this title of police commissioner. Mark Golding, a smuddy with legal experience. No, said the police commissioner. He's not all he's cracked up to be when it comes on to you know, drastically reducing laws and making sure say gunman stay behind bars and making sure say that is down to legislation. And who is responsible for legislation? Politicians. I will tell you why it's disingenuous. I know some years say, see if I had a police commissioner, he may just drive from Nigel to St. Thomas and just box down every 87 and then, yeah, man, I saw it go and cry and drop. Alright. Let me feel a unicorn. Here is the reality. Mark Golding. By giving police commissioner 60 days. And by the way, I'm not losing my sleep over no police commissioner because I know, see. I don't care who I put this up. With all things stay right now, nobody expects to see much done. I'm telling that all the time, legislation have to change. But since uh, Anthony Anderson in the job, I could deal with him case and I could deal with the matter regarding him. 60 days, or I go look another work. Here is the problem with Mark Golding. If those statements were being said in good faith, do you know who Mark Golding would have given 60 days? Dr. Horace Chang. He would have give politicians 60 days. The laws will make it difficult for police, Wolamp and Badman. Those laws cannot be changed by no police commissioner, by no ACP, no DCP, no Sarge, no constable. They can only enforce the laws that currently exist. And you cannot fight crime in Jamaica right now with the laws as they currently stand. This is why for 60 years, this year is the 60th anniversary 
for 60 years when you check the charts going up you see the rise and the rise and the rise the laws and the change the personnel change and the body getting a serious results it's rigged it's rigged 87s are playing on a cheat code the all outdated laws what we have is like a cheat code for 87s mark golding know that here are the party tricks mark golding now come out and give politicians 60 days him give a commissioner you see if mark golding come out and give politicians a 60 days even though they're opposition politicians you know why it is a spooky theme because if he wants to go in a power tomorrow that same logic can be used back by him when theme government start to underachieve too notice i didn't say if listen to what i'm saying now if mark golding and the pnp go in a power tomorrow morning when they, they struggle to fight crime too not if when then the same logic the same argument can drop back from one of pan one of theme minister them pan one of theme mp them so because him no say him can't say mr politician you have 60 days because him are going to power and fail too instead he says mr commissioner mr non-elected commissioner mr can't write no law commissioner you have 60 days Mr. Mark Golding, that is one of the most disingenuous moves I've ever seen you pull. It's not just desperate times call for desperate measures. Holding a police commissioner to 60 days. The man who you know say can only operate with the laws with the in front of him. And your cronies, even the one them were, are supposedly rivals, because not for them politicians, they are only rival on TV, in a real life them are bridging, in a real life them not, let them, them laugh and talk and eat and belch and bust gas, all to, it, it, one big, one big merry, merry go round. Publicly them look like enemy but in a real life, trust me, no for them my friend. See, if Mark Golden was to set the precedence of giving politicians 60 days or leaving, that I come back come hurt Mark Golding. Let me repeat that. If Mark Golding if the leader of the opposition starts set the precedence of giving politicians 60 days to meet with targets, otherwise leave, it will come back, come bite him too. So him cannot set that for a politician. So him set it for a police commissioner. When you see the politics, police commissioners are overrated. Police commissioner need to improve the quality of the force and them thing there and make sure that police officers are carrying out their duties to the best of their abilities and weed out corruption and them thing there but the whole drop crime in 60 days forget it forget it mark golding no say that not go happen just so when you hear politicians say they need they need to find a way to hold on to these men with which laws why you don't give the police the laws them for do what you tell them for do them are true police under the bus. Jamaican people are sitting back and watch elected leaders, elected officials, true police, true JDF, true citizens who them under the bus. Regular citizen, Carlton must know go town. District council not help fight crime. Everybody must help fight. Everybody is being held to these high standards, to these cutthroat standards, except Jamaican politicians. Why the whole on in the House of Parliament and both sides may get 60 days? How about the Jamaican public get only 60 days? How about that? Government and opposition. 60 days on the figure it out or the whole on resign. How about that? Since since the love give deadlines. Let's give deadlines. 60 days. 60 days from the Prime Minister go straight down to George Wright. 60 days since Mark, Mark Golding is now setting the kind of precedent. We're giving police commissioners 60 days for meet targets. So now we are working with the 60 days. Mark Golding is the MP of a quote unquote bad man place. You have 60 days to figure that out. The poverty in your constituency you have 60 days to get rid of it or resign. Well, I mean, we can give it to police commissioners. So why not MP? who have the entire state and its resources at their disposal. Surely, a MP, surely the government, surely the opposition, have more tools at their disposal than a single police commissioner. 60 days. 
Since we're giving timeline, I love it. 60 days. All Jamaican MPs, all, especially the one we control Garrison Badman place, will have 60 days. If we not just eradicate crime, not poverty, everything, whatever ill you want to think of, 60 days you don't have. What's the matter? We're giving out deadlines. People of Jamaica, tell me in the comment section if you don't agree. 60 days, right? If Mark Golding can tell somebody who don't write no law and can't control no legislation and can't whatever they want to feel, right? You, you can you can put you can be the police commissioner all you want, but whatever you want to feel in the override the law. Remember the police commissioner, the DCP, the JDF can feel what they want to feel. If you have certain things by a certain time, then man I get bail and man I go back on the road. Mark Golding know that. And still give 60 days. So, since Mark Golding isn't understanding like that, and he's that cutthroat, he's that, he's that, you know, you know why you're not excuse? We know why you're not excuse from Jamaican MPs. Now we know politicians in Jamaica are serious. They're so serious that they're willing to give people 60 days. So we should give them 60 days. So it's now in January. So by February, March. So by April the 1st, April Fool's Day, which is... That in itself is almost poetic, just this way. So, but by April Fool's Day, who are you say? Poverty, crime, everything in your favorite constituency is eradicated. 60 days. We're now giving deadlines. The precedence has been set in terms of power, ability, no police commissioner. Right? Not have that much power in Jamaica. It's an overrated office when it comes down to power, it just sounds mighty. The police commissioner. Him can't make you stay in one cell one night longer than your lawyer say. And what the law say. Once the lawyer turn up and show them what the law say, they must let you go. He can't feel what you want to feel. Mark Golding did the law. He know that better than anybody. But we're giving deadlines now. 60 days. All of these underperforming. All of these constituencies riddled with crime, poverty, death and destruction. The MPs for them have 60 days. Otherwise, step down, do the right thing. So, I'm not defending the police commissioner. By all means, give him the 60 days. And then after the 60 days, make him step aside and cut. But then, we are giving Mark Golden the same 60 days. The theme constituency. He have 60 days too. So, when time the 60 days pass, I will not see a drastic improvement. Then him step aside too. And then we will no longer have to deal with Anthony Anderson, nor Mark Golding, or Horace Chang, and we can get 60 odd brand new MPs. How about that? 60 days. Politicians are setting the precedence. 60 days. I love it. Two months. Two months, I leave. And Mark Golding says, one of me. Right. If the argument is, well, Anthony Anderson has been in power long enough if, if you make some changes, so he may make no changes same if you cut. Okay, I would say the same thing about your favorite MP. Some of them been MPs for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. It almost turned out the song. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So, you've been around long enough, still struggling, 60 more days, then leave. I love it. The precedence has been set. 60 days. That applies to every senator and every MP. Mark Golding says so. 60 days. So I work with that. 60 days, no excuses for your constituency. 60 days. Everybody. Are your favorite leader of opposition bring it up. And me. But I love it. Two months, 60 days. We can see how that work out now. People are Jamaica. This Wallipa, look upon them, not look upon me. A foolishness. You always start with leadership. You ever see some club? When time the manager, watch English Premier League. When time clubs are underperform, you hear the fans them start say, the owners and the board must leave. When Manchester United now go out nothing, people start say, Glazers out. Tell me some lie me at him. People are say, alright, this Wallipa chop and change manager, 
That not good. We want the owners them. We want the board out. After all, you're the real decision maker. So if one bag of people who know how to use a feel and a feel and a feel, and a you are put them yes and a put them yes, now we are looking on you. You start with the top. Nobody no look on the branch manager in the company and say, you have 60 days for the company, for the whole company start making a profit. No. Them look on the CEO. Them look on the board. Why is the Jamaican board? Why is the Jamaican CEO? No, I look down the ladder. And I say, you don't so, supervisor, you have 60 days. Even though I've not given you the tools to fight crime effectively. Right. Using the same football analogy, imagine you're a coach. A man I tell you, say, you have one year for win the Premier League. And you're, you're Burnley. One little side like Burnley. No disrespect to the Burnley fans. Eh? A man I tell you, say, you have one year for win the Premier League. And you say, all right, you go on. Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Busquets, Javi, Iniesta, and I tell you, say, no, 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 no. We're not going to them ball there. They are going to use them same local ball there we have and win the Premier League in one year. Something can go so. You want big results? Give me the tools. You don't want to see crime drastically drop? Give the police them the tools. Right. Give them the legislation for them enforce. And then when them fail, then you say, see there, you don't ask for this. You don't ask for better pay. You don't ask for better conditions. You don't ask for better technology. You don't ask for better forensics. You don't ask for better law. And then now you fail. 60 days and go on. That would make more sense. But as the JCF stands now, if you then make it look like said they must just go magically fine, right? The farm line has 60 days. Something when nobody not fine for the last 30 years is downright ridiculous and disingenuous for Mark Golding. They are saying man for winning Champions League and, I, and they know said man not on the ball like that. Then the tools. You, go and go win Formula 1. But here is a Ford Escort with a 2 litre engine and 120 horsepower. You have one year for win Formula 1. Beat Mercedes, Benz, and Lewis Hamilton. What? What do you say? Give the man a Formula 1 car and then when he fail, you fire him. Because you have a car he can compete and you now win. So move from right or so. You are not ready and you are not capable. But when you see, say, man I fail back to back to back to back. So when you look to the foundation and the foundation is not there. The technology is not there. The legislation is not there. Give them the tools, make them fail, and then start chop off it. But right now, who forget? The roasting is the people them at the very top. Politicians. At oh no, end of the day, nobody go election go vote for Anthony Anderson. A you people send up in a son. Go vote. Son a bone off their head top in the election line for vote for forget results. You. You, Mr. Prime Minister, you, Minister Leader of Opposition, you, Minister National Security. Cut the crap and stop taking people for fool. Anyway, HM Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, more life. Ultra Squad, see you circling. Bless.